Well, hi guys and welcome to another video. Um, or if you're new here, um, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by and um, consider subscribing for more carp fishing videos and rig tying videos such as this one. So today I want to talk to you about one of the most popular pop-up rigs over the last few years. One that I'm sure you've all seen and heard of and even tried in your own fishing and that's the Ronnie rig. Now the Ronnie rig is one of the best ways to present a very low pop-up um, and until the Ronnie rig came out you know things like chod rigs and hinge stiff rigs and things like that were, were the sort of the popular pop-up rigs but as soon as the Ronnie came out everyone seems to be using that. Now I tried it when it first sort of um, was publicised and although I did catch on it I wasn't that happy with the hook holds and I was getting some funny beeps and occurrences and I think the fish were getting away with it. Well um, I've recently come up with a way to overcome these problems and to trip up those really wary fish that seem to be able to get up and get away with this rig. Um, it's all to do with the boom section so if you're interested in that you want to improve your runny rigs and perhaps catch the more tricky fish in your lake that are usually the bigger fish. Um, stay tuned and we're going to run through the components and then we'll get straight into tying the rig. Right guys so here's a look at what you'll need for tying my version of the runny rig. Um, now as I've said in a previous video I'm not sponsored by Anglian Iron but um, I recently went on their website and they seem to have really expanded their range over the last couple of years since I last used their hooks and um, yeah I thought you know why waste time getting tackle from lots of other companies when I like Anglian Iron hooks and all their other bits are really good as well so I'm happy so far so um, I'll put a link for their website below this video you know so you can go check it out because um, it really is good stuff and uh, so far nothing's let me down so um, yeah first of all you're going to need um, a size 4 curve shank hook um, very important to use a size 4 because the bigger hook gives you a wider gape um, more hooking potential and the hook's kind of hidden below the bait anyway so it doesn't really matter that you're using a really big hook and I think a bigger hook just gives you a better hook hold and more chance of landing fish. You're going to need an oval ring screw where you, you're going to screw your pop up onto, a shank stop bead, nice little green ones there from Anglian Iron um, and they're really nice and small and actually they've got a hole through the middle so they go onto the hook really nice and easily. Next you'll need a size 11 heli ring swivel, a quick change heli ring swivel for the hook to attach to and some shrink tubing and then you're going to need an 8 inch length of lead free leader material um, this one is 40 pound version and um, about 6 inches of number 3 or number 4 pole elastic and then you're going to need a pair of scissors and a lighter and that's it seems like a lot of things but um, it really is a quick and simple rig to tie once you get going so let's show you that right now. So guys first things first what you're going to need to do is is splice a loop into one end of you um, of your leader material and then at the other end you're going to splice your um, quick change size 11 ring swivel so let's do that now um, you're going to need um, a splicing needle or um, a gate latch baiting needle should have said that before sorry about that I was using it to point with <laughs> um, so to splice a loop in your leading material what you're going to need to do is about about four inches from the end you're just going to go in the side with your open gate latch needle and push it along the lead material like this until you get about say an inch and a half in and then you're going to come out the side like that so I hope you can see that there the needle is just going through and along the material then you you take your um, the end of the leader material, hook that into the needle, close the gate and then you're going to pull that through to form a loop. Now this can be quite tricky, 
helps if you've got strong fingers. You just tease it like this. Should eventually get it to come through. Okay, so that's come through there nicely. And, that, and then you pull it back on itself. There. And that just forms your loop, which you can attach to a quick link for um, casting the rig out in the lake. Okay, then you want to go to the other end and we do the same again, but this time we're going to splice on our quick change ring swivel. So, once again, we go into the side of the material with an open gate latch needle. We push it along about an inch and a half or so, come out the side we get to that point again then we're going to take our quick change swivel there put it onto the end of your lead free leader material and then we hook the leader material back onto the needle uh, close the gate it's quite fiddly with cold hands um, and then yeah, and then we're sliding this back down to form a loop at this end. And this time you want to pull it through fairly tight because you've got a ring on your ring swivel, so you don't need another loop here. It's just to attach it really. So there you go. That's that's attached there and we're going to pull that back on itself to tighten up the leader material and then we're going to just pull this out a little we're going to chop it off with a sharp pair of scissors and then you can pull that back inside itself to hide the end there and then that's that bit nicely spliced on there now you can uh, you can probably tell what we're going to do um, with the hook and everything, but the clever bit is coming up. So watch what we do here. So we're gonna we're gonna go into the leader material just behind the splice. So there's your there's your ring swivel. There's your splice, and it stops about there. We're gonna go back into it. So we're pushing it along like that and this time we want to get as much of the leading material on the needle as we can. We're sort of bunching it up on itself here so hopefully you can see that it's actually bunching up and getting a bit thicker and then what we're going to do once that's kind of on there as far as we think it will go we're going to come out the side there and get the the gate part of the needle open just so it stops it sliding off there. Then you want to take your pole elastic and put it into the gate and close the gate and then we're going to we're going to splice that elastic down inside the leader material so there we go it's come out the other end and now we've got to this point here where we've got the elastic coming out there and coming out of this other end here. So what we're going to do at one of the ends is three sort of granny knots which will just secure the elastic um, and stop it slipping back inside the leader material. So there's one, two, there's three. So pull that down nice and tight, being careful not to snap the elastic. And then trim that off with about three mil spare, just to give you some leeway in case it slips. Um, and then what you're going to do is bunch up the 
leader material by pulling the elastic fairly tight through it and then you want to repeat the process that you just done by doing three granny knots so we'll go and do that now so one two three like that and again pull it reasonably tight without breaking your elastic and then trim that off about three mil from the end now what this gives you and this wasn't my invention full disclosure here it's um, one of Steve Renyard's bits of trickery again but what this gives you is an elasticated boom section so if you can see there that's quite springy and that just gives the fish a big problem once it picks up the bait and the hook pricks the fish it then can't use the weight of the lead to shake the hook out and also um, you know it once it pulls the the rig pulls back and it's actually setting the hook further in the fish so you know the fish has only got to pick it up a little bit and then it's it's into this elastic and it's just pulling it and and almost sort of striking for you if you like so um, I'm just going to show you how to tie the rest of the rig um, on the ring swivel end and we'll put a bait on and then that'll be the finished rig so the next step then is take a bit of your, your shrink tube in here and what you want to do is offer it up to your, your ring swivel just next to it like that and put your nail where the the end of the hook of the quick chain swivel is going to be um, and that way you don't get too much shrink tube which impedes the, the spinning of the swivel you're going to chop that off leaving the section of shrink tube there which is probably around about 8 to 10 mil I would say um, then you want to put that onto your size 4 curve shank hook and then with the hook of the quick change swivel coming in the front of the hook, the point side of the hook you want to just hook that through there onto there and then pull the shrink tube down over it like so now with your, your lighter be very careful um, what you're going to do is shrink down that shrink tube in now, I'm not trying to burn this I'm just trying to heat it um, to shrink it down so keep the lighter moving and it should shrink down nicely like that and then just before it sets pull it at a slight angle like that which just improves the hooking potential of the rig now all that's left to do and this is uh, very quick and easy is get your um, your oval ring screw there, your bait screw and put that on the hook like that and follow it by your shank stop bead uh, obviously got a hole in the middle so you can push that on now you want to do that the thin end of the shank stop onto the point of the hook and push that round until it's opposite the barb and that is your finished Ronnie rig um, which didn't take very long now all that's left to do is, is put a bait on there and we'll see what it looks like in the lake uh, my choice of bait which I've been using a lot this year is the Richworth S-Core 
white pop-ups. All we do now is you take your, your, your bait screw, push it into the bait slightly just to get it started and then you're going to twist that clockwise onto there until it reaches the end of the, the screw if you like and, uh, and the eye of it is just sticking out there. Uh, now what I like to do is put a couple of bits of foam, dissolving foam onto this rig and then cast it out into the lake and that holds it up off the bottom and then when it lands it goes in a nice sort of a pile if you like with the bait just popped up and um, don't worry that the fish can see it, it just looks like a twig or something on the bottom it's very inconspicuous and then once they pick it up it gives them plenty of rope to get it in their mouth and then the, uh, the bungee part of the rig comes into play.